The Raptors front office started to remake the team on December 30 when it traded Doji Anunobi, Precious Akio and Malachi Flint of the New York Knicks for Emmanuel Quickly and RJ Barrett of Mississauga, Ontario a blockbuster deal sent all-star Pascal Siakam to the Indiana Pacers on January 17, effectively ending Toronto's championship era. Hours before the NBA trade deadline on February 8 the Raptors got Kelly Olynyk of Kamloops, BC, and Ochai Agbaji in a deal with the Utah Jazz. Toronto had its new core of players together for just seven games when injuries started to pile up. First-time All-Star forward Scotty Barnes, broken hand, and starting center Jacob Poltile, torn ligament, both had surgeries in early March, forcing them to miss the rest of the season. Barrett and quickly took leaves to grieve the death of loved ones, and backup center John T. Porter was put on the inactive list as the NBA launched an investigation into irregular betting patterns. He was banned from the league for life on Wednesday. All those absences contributed to 15 consecutive losses, the second worst skid in team history, and Toronto, 25-57, staggered to the sixth worst record in the league. I'm very proud of the organization, the team, ownership, everybody for staying with this and grinding it through because it's not easy on anybody. It's just not, said Ujiri, joking that it was probably even hard on reporters to cover the team. It was unwatchable sometimes but we have to grind through it. But if there's one thing that never moved it's our culture that has really kept us through this. I'm proud of all the workers, all the departments, everybody that has contributed to this. Toronto's rebuild will continue through the off-season with two or three draft picks in this summer's draft on June 26 and 27. The Raptors' number of picks is contingent on the results of the draft lottery on May 12. If it shuffles them to 7th or later in the selection order, the pick will automatically transfer to the San Antonio Spurs as part of last year's trade for pole tile. Toronto has a 37.2% chance of moving into one of the draft's top four picks and a 9% chance of selecting first overall. The Raptors, however, have a more than 50% chance of dropping to seventh or worse and losing the pick, leaving them with Indiana's first round pick and the Detroit Pistons' second round pick. Ujiri dismissed the notion that the 2024 draft is of lower quality, noting that former NBA MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo and perennial all-star Rudy Gobert were both drafted in 2013, an allegedly poor year of basketball prospects. I think players are found everywhere, said Ujiri. I can guarantee you they're going to be two or three all-stars that will come out of this draft here. It happens every year, happens all the time.